thought I'd play around with GeoGebra a bit just to see some right triangles and see if I can figure some things out about right triangles. So let me start by constructing one of the sides. And let's construct a line perpendicular to this side. And I'm going to now get an angle. So I've got a right angle here. I need to get another angle to my triangle. Let's say that we want to construct another angle. A 58 degree angle sounds good. And I now need to connect segment or point A and B prime to get my hypotenuse. So um, let me do that. Let's form a line through those two points. And I think what I want to do next is go back and oh, I need to get the point of intersection so I can get that uh, vertex, the third vertex of my triangle. All right, so now I'm going to go back and create segments because I really don't want lines. I really want segments here. So let me get the segments. Oh, look at that. It's measuring the segments as I form them. That's kind of nice. So our hypotenuse there is 10.61 and the legs are 9 and 5.62. Um, let me hide now these lines since I really don't want them anymore. I'm doing that by hitting Command G to hide those and I really don't need this point B prime either. So I have my triangle here and I can drag on it and I can see that the sides are changing but that the angles are staying the same so I've got similar triangles here. Let's hide the coordinates of the points and the equations of the lines. We don't really need those. Now there's something I remember learning about in geometry about sides of triangles and ratios of sides. Huh, let me see here let's form some ratios of sides. Let's say I wanted to use the side across from this angle A so that's the opposite side and the hypotenuse. Let's say I wanted to form a ratio with those so that would be uh, D here divided by F so let's do that D divided by F so that's the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse All right, that's 0.85. All right, and uh, let me see here. Let me drag on my triangle and see what happens here. All right, the sides are changing, but the ratio is staying the same. Well, that, that makes sense because that's uh, the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse. Um, the ratio of the sides should still be in proportion as I change this. Wait, the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse, that's the sine ratio. Let me make a note of that. The sine ratio is opposite to hypotenuse. All right, and let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, so the sine ratio is the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse. So this, the sine of this angle, hmm, I'm wondering if I took the sine of this angle, if I would also get 0.85. Let me let me try that. Sine of alpha, because that's angle alpha there. Look at that. It's also 0.85. And this, no matter what I do here in terms of dragging on this triangle, it's going to stay 0.85. Interesting. Now, I wonder what would happen if we worked with other segments. Let's say we did the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse. Let's do that one. The ratio of adjacent which is E divided by F. So let's do that. All right. Um, once again, I don't think that's going to change. Nope, that stays 0.53 as I do this. So let's see here. What what was that called? I think that was called the cosine ratio adjacent to hypotenuse. Let's see. Cosine of alpha. Oh, yeah, that is the cosine ratio. So the cosine ratio, let me put in a text box here, just as a reminder to myself. The cosine ratio is the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay, that sounds great. Oh, let's make this bigger. Once again, I want to be able to see this here. All right. And actually, let's make it very large. And let's make this one very large also. All right, and the last one, there was one other ratio. 
what one was it? It was um, opposite to adjacent. I think it was opposite to adjacent. Let's see if that's the right one. So opposite would be segment that's 8.01 here. And the adjacent is now the shorter leg, 5.01. So D divided by E, that's 1.6. Well, that seems to make sense. This is 1.6 times longer than this. That seems reasonable. And let's see, I think it was called the tangent ratio. Let's do the tangent of alpha. Oh yeah, it is the tangent ratio. Let's make a note of that. I think that's that's the last uh, really important trig ratio for dealing with right triangles. I mean, I could write the ratios in, in the opposite order and switch the numerator and denominator, but really I think these cover all possible pairings. So uh, tangent ratio opposite to adjacent. Interesting. And we'll make this a little bit larger as well. So no matter what, when we work with right triangles, the ratio of the sides is going to be the same when the angles are fixed sides. Since these right triangles would all be similar to each other, the ratio of the sides are in proportion. Hmm, interesting.